Wrightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia. Today, I have a bag full of some interesting things that I want to show you. I'm wondering first if anyone knows what this is. It has a piece of yellow that comes out and it has numbers on it. This is called a tape measurer, which maybe you already knew. Do you know what a tape measurer is for? Well, a tape measurer is for measuring things so that I can see how wide something is, how many inches or how tall something is. It's pretty helpful as a tool to have. What about this? Does anyone know what this is? This is called a hymnal and we use these here in church to sing songs. Inside are, is music and words that we use so that everybody who's in church can sing along with the songs. So that is what a hymnal is for. It helps us to sing all together so that we all know the words and we all know the tune. Now, what about this? This is a key. Do you know what a key is for? A key is for opening something, maybe a door, or to lock it so that it doesn't open as easily. I bet maybe you have a key for your house or, or maybe your parents have keys for a car, and that's what a key is for. I have one more thing in here. Do you know what this is? This is a teddy bear or a stuffed animal, you might call it. Now, what do you think this is for? Probably it's for playing or for holding and squeezing. This one is from somewhere that I got to go on a trip once and so it also reminds me of that place, which is another thing that it's for. All of these things have a job. There's a reason why they are what they are, and they have something that they can do. So now I have a question. Do you know what you are for? Yes, you! All of us are kind of like these things. There's something that all of us are for. There's something we can do. God made us for special purposes, like praising God. But you know, we're a little bit different than all of these things because these just have a purpose. They're just tools. But you matter more than a tool. You have things you can do, but you're more than just the thing you do. You were made to love God and made so that God can love you. You are wonderful just for being you. So today I want to remind you that God has a job for you, but that your job isn't all you are. Just being you is enough. Let's say a prayer together. God, thank you for making each one of us and making us with a purpose. Thank you that you love us so much. We love you too. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.